Super easy to do. I'll show you how to do it. I used all high-end components, pure sine wave inverters, MPPT charge controller, etc. All right, let me set it up real quick and show you a couple things that it can run before we jump into it, just so you can see what this thing can do. You just plug it in and flip it on. It's running the TV, the lamp, and the fan now. Awesome. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's no buzz at all coming out of the fan. It's on low and it's smooth as glass. Everything runs super smooth because it's a pure sine wave inverter. You can of course use any size battery you want on this. A 10, a 30, a 50, 100, 200, even 300 amp hour. Whatever you want. Big as they got. Wow, that's great. Now we're approaching like the three amps max on the panel. Or just use the optional wall charger. By the way, I went with all high-end products. Nothing too expensive, basic stuff, but high-end in the sense that it's a pure sine wave inverter, an MPPT charge controller with the proper cables already connected to it, um, a 15 amp socket with a USB, and solid 14 gauge cables. I used the most user-friendly stuff I could find so you guys could do this as easy as possible. That's my actual order, 10658, plus the battery and the solar panel you choose. I think it worked out to about 185 plus tax. Okay, and then a coat of black paint. And then that just fits right in the bottom. Check it out. Line it up, drop it in, drops right in. Okay, now let's make a little stand right here for this so we can use the provided screws and they'll have plenty of wood to go into. Okay, cool. So we'll set this aside. This is the piece. I'll sand it down and we're good to go. Then you just screw it on there. I'll line up the corner just like that so it's just indented a little bit, inset off the edge. Essentially all I did was take these two wires, ran them over here, then the inverter cord into the plug and a socket ran them over here so they're all connected, and then ran one cable here so that both of them connect right into the battery. That's the whole thing. Then we'll have power here, 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 into here, there, both of these. The whole thing will be ready to go. So if you're thinking about buying a solar generator, just make it instead. It's super easy, and it's just as good. Probably better. Plus, there's lots of benefits when you make it yourself.
main ones are it's customizable. You can easily repair it, you can fix it, you can customize it, and you can use any size battery you want. The other thing is that there's no proprietary cables or solar panels that you have to use. You can just buy standard ones and you're all set. That keeps everything nice and firm and it won't move. Even if you move it around like this and shake it, everything. You could probably drop it. I'm not going to do that, but it's totally solid. Nothing moves. Everything's good like this. See? So before you go out and drop a few hundred to a few thousand dollars on a commercial unit, consider just making it yourself. It's super easy.